On January 12, 1925, in Beggarville, Alberta, Joseph Siegel was born, and thus began an incredible life. Well, my father uh, came to Canada in 1896, and he died in uh, 1939. I was 14 years old. Shortly after his father's death, Joe left school and went to work earning $5 a week in a retail credit store in Edmonton. It was a start, but Joe had his eye on bigger opportunities. The U.S. engineers were building the Alaska Highway. And so I went to work at $112 a week in those days. It was big money, and I saved up some money, about $3,000, and uh, went to visit somebody in Calgary, got into a poker game and lost it all. Out of work and broke, Joe tried to enlist in the Navy. They couldn't take him for at least three weeks. He couldn't wait, so he signed up with the armed forces, and they took him right away. I landed in uh, Aldershot in England. And then 10 days after that, I was sent over to uh, Belgium as a reinforcement for the Calgary Islanders. He saw the war end in Germany and stayed on as a part of the occupational force until 1946. He returned to Canada and came to Vancouver because his mother was here visiting. It was then that he met Rosalie. And I said, that's the girl of my dreams. And I married her. Had to battle. Her mother and her father wanted her to marry a doctor or a lawyer or somebody with money. And I didn't have any of those uh, assets. Fresh off the boat from the war, Joe was all of 21 and raring to go. He joined forces with two other entrepreneurs and started selling commercial real estate. He was good at it. So good, in fact, that his partners let him do all the work and uh, I would uh, be working and they would be playing. And the net result was that when it was all finished, uh, I was bringing home the bacon and uh, when it was all finished, I had nothing left. Joe wound up that business and set out on his own. I got into the war surplus business. The first deal I bought, and I had no money, and I had no bank line, but the first deal I bought was a package of about 2,000 gallons of olive drab, khaki colored army paint. I rented a uh, panel truck, a Ford panel truck, green, I'll never forget it. And I'd load this thing up in the morning and I would head for Ladner and then the next day I'd head for Chilliwack and I would sell five gallon drums of paint at two dollars a gallon to the farmers. And they painted their barns. So I had every barn from Vancouver to Ladner and every barn from Vancouver to Chilliwack painted all of drab. I got all the deals that nobody else wanted. But I had to find a way of making them work. And then one thing led to another and I had uh, five or six war surplus stores. Then came the opportunity that established his retail career. He purchased the leftover supply from Simpson Sears catalog department and opened a store. He turned that store into a chain he called Fields. One of those stores, 6,000 square feet in Brentwood Mall, was selling in excess of $1 million a year in merchandise. And it was right next door to a Zeller's. Zellers in their 24,000 foot store was doing about $400,000 a year. And so when Zellers, that was a subsidiary of a bankrupt U.S. company, there was a company in the U.S. called W.T. Grant, and they owned 50.1% or 50.3% of uh, Zellers. And uh, when the parent got into trouble, this Canadian asset, became available for sale. I bought that company in the courtroom in the U.S. It was a U.S. asset. And it was sold in the bankruptcy court in New York. The deal was worth $38 million. And I changed the philosophy. What I really did to turn that company around, and it was miraculous, we went from they were closing stores and uh, 
because they didn't know what the formula was. And uh, what I did was lifted the saran wrap and let the company breathe. And that company went from 300 million in sales to 800 million in three years without opening a single store. After Zeller's, Joe set his sights on the Hudson's Bay Company. But instead of me taking the bay over, they took us over. Joe Siegel has remained active in British Columbia ever since, supporting, mentoring, and fostering many companies, including the multicultural television station, Channel M. But that's just a part of the Joseph Siegel story. He is as well known in British Columbia for his generous support of numerous charities as he is for his business acumen. I think what motivates him to want to give back is that he has enjoyed success himself and he takes pleasure in sharing it. I've always given and when I could afford to give a thousand dollars I gave a thousand dollars and sometime I would give more than I can afford to do but it's important because you have you live in a community you take something out you have to put something in 